We all know that every website needs a wow effect. Something that makes you go like, wow, this is crazy. One of the easiest ways of adding this wow effect to your website is adding a crazy background animation or some sort of background component in the background of your hero section. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you six components that you can use to add this bow effect to your website and you can use these components for completely free on both commercial and personal projects so yeah i hope that this video will be helpful my name is nandi this is frame university and let's get started so before we jump into the first component i want to tell you that you're gonna find all of these in the description, so I'm gonna leave a link for each component. If you click those links, you can copy these components and remix the projects for completely free, so you can see how they're used. Also, you can just copy them into your projects, and again, you can use them anywhere, fully free. So, um, the first one that we're gonna talk about is the interactive ASCII component, which allows you to create this crazy background on your website. And it works in a way that you basically drag and drop this component onto your hero section, for example. But of course, you can use this anywhere. So you can see it here on the left layers panel, interactive ASCII. It is wrapped in this uh, stack. Uh, and this stack is absolutely positioned. So many times when you're using this large backgrounds in the, in the hero section, it is really useful to have them on absolute positioning because then you can literally just resize them or move them around in the background. What I usually do is I just set these pins to zero on all sides. Here I changed the upper pin uh, to minus 160 to like position this image a little bit more towards the top. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's simple to use it because then you can have like the main content, for example, this text and stuff on relative positioning. So so yeah and about the component, it's super simple to use. You just select it and on the right panel, you're gonna get a bunch of like properties. For example, you can see that you can upload any image. Uh, in this case, I have this um, like Framer image from the Framer website. But even if you go into like plugins and you go to Unsplash, uh, we can actually just pick some portrait or portrait or something like that. Mm. Yeah, maybe have this one. And as you can see, now we have the, like, and it's like instantly makes any image look amazing, at least in my opinion. And yeah, I think it's just crazy that it's like interactive. So you can like hover around with your cursor and yeah, it's just, I don't know. It just gives a cool effect to the image and just feel free to play, play around with all of these properties on the right panel. So you can change the font uh, that is used for these characters you can change the color so you can have different color options you can also play around with these you can make this glow so if you see i remove this it looks a little different uh, we can add like a static movement that we have currently we can toggle this on and off we can also have a background width so this basic just um, has less or more characters you can also play around with this one, which is also pretty crazy. It just gives you different like versions and like, different like looks. Um, again, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of this component. You can also invert this. Looks <laughs> really interesting. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Just play around with these properties. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this component a lot. If your like image isn't appearing properly or it looks weird with the ASCII, you can play around with the brightness and uh, the contrast properties to to like fine-tune it but yeah uh, basically that's it for the first component the next component on our list is the magnetic grid um, as you can see i have the components already pasted in here inside of these boxes and what you can do with these is you can upload an image in this case it's like a little circle like a little dot and you can have different modes in this case it's a REPL. so as you can see these elements are being pushed away. You can also have the opposite magnet where they are getting magnetized. You can have it on look. So the elements are looking at the cursor as you like hover around. Looks pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we have the scale, which is a simple scale. It just scales up the objects or elements in a specific uh, like area. 
Uh, you can, again, customize everything about this. So if we select the component, for example, this one, as you can see, I can upload the image or SVG that I want to uh, have in the grid. I can also scale them up or down if I if I want to make them a little bit larger or smaller. And here I can change uh, the mode. So currently it's on look, but if I want this on REPL, I can also do that. And now you can see it is also REPL. But let's set it back to look. You can also change the column count and the gap between these columns. So that's also really easy to customize. Um, so yeah, it's just a um, super, super easy way to, to add like a fun little background into your hero section or certain into certain elements. Um, one thing you're going to see is if you're using some other mode like magnet, you're going to have an intensity. So how much these elements are getting magnetized. You can see it's, it's quite magnetic here. If I want something a little bit more subtle, I can set it to 0.5. And now you're going to see it's a it's a little bit more subtle of a magnetic effect. And I can also change the trigger area. So if this is lower than, as you can see, not many like elements are going to be magnetic around my cursor. Only a few. If I set this to a really high value, you're going to see that most of them are going to be like moving towards my cursor. So yeah, again, super simple component, free to use. Grab it from the description. The third component is the dither component. Again, it can be used to like turn any boring image into something really cool. As you can see, if I select it on the right panel, I have the image property and you can see that this little image is uploaded here and it instantly turns it into something that you're like, wow, it looks pretty cool, right? And it also starts like animating and moving. You can also like toggle this or change the animation effect. So how much is it being like animated? You can also check it in the preview or here on the canvas to see how that would look. Uh, I prefer something on lower intensities, but you can also check, uh, set the interval for like changing the speed of this animation. So yeah, pretty cool effect. And again, for each image, you're gonna have to have like different thresholds and brightness and stuff like that to make sure it looks great. I can again upload another image just to again show you that you can literally upload anything and it will instantly make it look great. So um, let's look for a spaceship, some clean image. Uh, let's see if we find anything. You know what, I'm not even gonna have a spaceship, I'm gonna search for an astronaut. Yeah, something like this looks pretty good. As you can see, <laughs> It, the image just instantly starts looking like better or I don't know, like just look at this. It looks pretty cool. And again, you can change the threshold here. Um, you can also play with the brightness. Uh, one thing I also have to show you is the pixel size. So you can also have like larger pixels or so smaller ones. Uh, maybe we can try pixel size one or maybe keep it on two. But one other thing that you have to play around with is the algorithm. So you can have ordered. Uh, this other one, Floyd, um, random. So some of them are like, for example, as you can see, this one looks a little weird. So in order to use this, you kind of have to like readjust the threshold and brightness. Uh, but yeah, each of them have a little different vibe and you can just go with the one that you like the most. You can also add glows as you can see, it starts glowing. You can also change the color. So yeah, I don't know, like it's just, I don't know, I love this component. Let's check it out. Yeah, it starts like blinking again because of the animation, but you can see with this algorithm, we have to like have a larger intensity or something. Um, yeah, something like this could work. Let's take a look. That's just, it's just amazing. Like you put it on your hero or somewhere and everyone will be like, wow, that looks really, really nice. So yeah, let's go into the next component. Now the next component is also one of my favorites. I don't know, I just love all the... Okay, so I don't know where I was because I got a call, but but yeah, I like all of these components, all of them are pretty cool, but yeah, they're God Rays is... It's just, yeah, you know, it's 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 really cool. Uh, so this component also, you can use it with absolute positioning, all pins activated, it just fills up the background. Just make sure that when you're doing like these absolute positioning setups, uh, it's gonna like the background is gonna get a Z index in order to get the hero content above the background, it's gonna have to have a Z index larger because in some cases it can appear below 
the background. So make sure that the Z index is two or something on the hero content. But as you can see on the God race on the right panel, we have these presets. So you can choose one of these. You can also have this one, for example, and you can also, if you like the effect itself, but you want to have like a different color, you can like click the custom and then you're going to be able to like change the color, but still have the kind of like the same effect. Uh, one of my favorites are the highway. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, ocean, I don't know, like all of these are pretty nice. But if you want to cook your own preset, you can just go to custom. And you know, start messing around with these with these properties, and you can create some some crazy stuff. Like this already looks like some Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know. Like it's just it's just crazy. So yeah, uh, you can also offset the center points, so it can be coming from the bottom right corner. You can also change the speed. So yeah, that's just pretty cool. You can also add like a noise. On top of this, so like a noise overlay, noise texture. Yeah, I think this easily makes any like gradient or anything look much better. So I highly recommend adding that. But yeah, I guess that's that's it for this component. Uh, pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so let's take a look at the fifth component. It's called the animated pattern background. Um, so this one is also really similar to the ASCII interactive ASCII but it's not interactive, but it also like creates this like effect with like characters. Uh, as you can see in this demo, I'm playing with different styles. So if you remix the project with the link in the description, you're going to see all these um, styles because you can click into this component and within this like no code framework component, you're going to find a bunch of variants. And in these variants, there is the animated pattern background component. As you can see on each of these variants, it's just, um, it just has a little different like uh, property uh, setting. So on this one, it's like blue and it has the pattern too. Uh, you can play around with the patterns and all of these properties. So yeah, and you can see like you can create these effects just by like playing around with these properties. And you know, I just created like five or six to just have fun. Uh, and to like show how you can use it. But I, I think you can, you can do like, I don't know, five to 10, uh, effects just as unique as these and yeah you can again like change the color you can you can literally change almost everything about this component as well um and yeah it, it just adds this beautiful animated background uh into your hero section or wherever you want to use it um again this can be used with episode positioning positioning the background and in this one I also used a mask because as you can see without that you cannot really read the hero content so sometimes you just have to apply a mask on the component you can do it here in the right panel under styles you can apply the mask and you can play around with that uh, with these little points so yeah again uh, pretty cool component in my opinion just one more like fun fact about the component you can also set the like the text here that is used for like the ASCII effects so in this case Framer University is used so you can kind of see that the like letters from Framer University are being used for this crazy effect so I think it's pretty cool and you can also switch to pixel mode so it's not only like ASCII patterns but also pixel patterns so yeah again I think you should give it a shot because I don't know, I haven't really seen it on any Framer templates, but I know that if someone would use this in Framer template, it would it would probably blow up and would make you a bunch of money. So I don't know. You decide if you wanna live with this opportunity or not. So so yeah, let's get into the next component. Okay, so here we are at our last component, which is called the Ripple Grid. So this is basically a component that creates this grid pattern. I don't know if you can see this. Let me just change the border color to something a little bit lighter. So you can see we have these little dots here. You can change the size of the dots. So they are either smaller or larger. And you can change the radius. So these can also be squares if you want to make them squares. So yeah, basically that's it. And then this is the base. And then the interaction is either happening or the animation is either happening on click. So you click the grid or on loop. So it's just constantly being played. But but what is playing? Well, the the ripple is playing, which can be set right here. 
you can set the color for the ripple and the shape of the ripple. So let me show you how that looks. For example, on this one, I click and there is a little ripple. Again, how cool is this? Looks really nice. And again, you can change this, I don't know, to a larger radius. You can also remove the border if you want to have like a fill. It's going to give you a little different uh, visual look because now the ripple will be like not instantly changing the dots, but with a little transition, you're going to see. But we can also change it to diamond or something like that in terms of the shape. So now you can see we have something like this. Again, looks really nice. Uh, I can also scale up these dots. <laughs> Again, looks really cool. And I can also change the colors. So if I wanted to have something a little bit like a fire or something, I could use these colors right here. Something like this. Let's check. <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. So yeah, feel free to play around with all of these shapes. I think my favorite is the lightning. It's kind of like a circle, but it is also like, like f I don't know, like it has this little, I don't know, I don't know the word, but if I say or show this, you kind of know that like, blah, 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 blah. so yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And as you can see, all of these have like different like settings and presets. So yeah, I think you can also use this in all sorts of creative ways. So yeah, feel free to go wild with all of these components. So yeah, again, all of these components are freely available down in the description, but also if you would like to play around with this project that I showcased here in this video, where I have all of these components in one place, you can see that here we have a link 6bg.learnframer.site. So if you click this link or you go to this website, you're able to remix this and you know get this project that I'm seeing right here with all the pages uh, that have all of these components in one place. So yeah, I really do hope that this video was helpful and it kind of inspired you to like create something cool. Again, I I know that if you can build Framer websites and you're you know how to like build sites with Framer, and you get one of these components and put it into like a template and build the template around this around this wow effect i can tell you that you're gonna make thousands of dollars with that template because it's just gonna go wild um so yeah um, feel free to feel free to use these and yeah let me know on twitter if you built something with these because i would love to see also if you have any, any questions about these components or you run into any issues make sure to drop them in the comment section i'll make sure to answer you guys and yeah that's for this video um make sure to like it subscribe for more and I'm going to see you in the next one.